two plus pound bait, you guys, and it's gonna get munched. Oh, that got hit. He put it down though. Oh, there it is. Gosh. Got him. Oh, I gotta stop him before he gets in this tree. That's a big fish. Oh my God. Dude, this is a big one. Oh my God, look at that. Did you see that? He just came up and tasted his nose. Look at him. Look at that. Oh, he's on it. Oh, God. Come get this fish. Yeah. He's in something. He's in a tree down there. All right, guys, we got one reviving down here in the tank. I got one on the rod right here, and we got another one getting chased right there. Well, good morning, good morning. It's about 5 a.m. in the beautiful state of Tennessee. Post uh, heart attack, Florida win last night. UT balls football, and I am going striper fishing with a friend out west. And we are gonna hopefully catch a pig or two. I am straight up exhausted and have a headache, but we gonna get on some fish nonetheless. And to raise my spirits this morning, we've got the fudge round. You know the vibes. Stay tuned, baby, let's catch some fish. Well, we've made it to the ramp and uh, it's significantly less janky than the ones we normally launch at. But the water's way down right now because they're only running one gin. But uh, that's the Cumberland River right there. And we go in striper fishing with a new buddy that you'll get to meet here in a few. This guy's going to pull two teeth for me tomorrow and uh, fit me for braces. So it's a double adventure. Look, there's Skipjack busting right, right there. Super cool. Uh, okay, this river's this ramp's a little janky. But uh, it's a beautiful morning. I broke a bunk, it looks like. Yep. That's fishing. Bust out another thousand, baby! Kind of in this back eddy here. I think I should probably get us a little further over there. I caught some decent ones from the bank, but not any giants. My little cousin still has the biggest one for this boat. First striper yeah. ever, yep. We weren't even really striper fishing. We were just on the back of Creek on and we were pulled up where the silo's at and we were just catching skipjack from the bank. It was the day before Thanksgiving. And I was like, I brought like five catfish rods and like, whatever, I'll throw some cut bait out. And I threw one whole one, big giant one on the bottom, just filleted down, got slammed. It was like a 54. It was stupid, stupid. And when he got it in, he was like excited, but he like, he did not understand. I'm like, you have no idea what just happened, dude. No idea. Like dudes who hardcore do this shit their whole life don't catch one like this. I think we'll have a good shot at some big ones today. I'm on.
Do you do much fishing like this at the steam plant down in Gallatin? No. We'll have to do that this winter with Chris. Yeah. Your job demands so much time and mental effort that well, and I was trying to socialize in the new city and I ended up moving downtown and bringing my boat back. I'm kind of an introvert, so like I don't do any of that shit. <laughs> doing a water change on the bait we lost one or two i think one of them we lost got bonked so he'll be cut bait for later but we put some fresh cold water in a bank tank and my transducer's messed up again it's actually the outlet on the unit itself not the transducer apparently because that's a brand new transducer and uh so we just going blind it'll be fine well, we've come as far as we can upstream without knocking a prop off or getting stuck. So we're going to drop the trawl motor and get to trolling these guys down in there. A couple of them are laying on their side, but the big ones will do that sometimes. Just got to kind of kick the tank and they'll start swimming like that. This is how we're hooking them up, guys. One through the nose and then one through the tail area. I'll show you what that looks like a little bit better here in a second once we get them in the water. I've got some tied up on ones that we don't need to put baits on. That's probably all, all we need out, I'd say. Hell, maybe even less. Do like that. Do you clip the back of it on or do you leave it open? I clip it on. What we're doing guys, we're taking these planer boards and we're pulling them next to these banks where the deep water's at. There's not a lot of flow right now, so these fish are probably sitting in the holes. And we're just gonna take this board with the live bait about eight to 10 feet behind it, maybe less, right over the top of them. See if we can get one to come up and eat it. If we get some action in a certain area, we'll come back and just float one right on its head or throw a swim bait at it. Yeah, he's swimming a little bit. Through the nose. This one I'm not going to put as deep on the board. We are in close quarters here. He's fishing. He's fishing. And then I've got one float rod down in there, a balloon one for one of those smaller guys. It's all the way at the bottom. We'll I guess we get that out afterwards. That black one. Get this second board hooked on. These skipjack like want to swim you into everything while you're trying to hook them up. Speed us up a little bit. What color balloon are you vibing with? Uh, still pink. 
probably likes me. And this one, guys, since it's so close quarters right now, we're only gonna run a board on each side and then one skipjack like 20 feet behind the boat, something like that. Let's see if we can't pick us up a big old striper. We may have a fish chasing this back one, you guys. That jack keeps going left and right, like really hard and going in circles. And when they start acting real erratic like that, out of nowhere, there's usually something up underneath them. The only way you know for sure is if you see a big boil, that balloon goes down or your skipjack goes flying out of the water because the striper hit it. But you see how that balloon's going left and right and he's just going nuts. There's probably something looking at him down there. Could be a bass, could be a striper. I don't think there's trout down this far. But something took a look at him, and he ain't happy. He got boiled on. That one had a fish chasing it, y'all. Trying to slow us down a little bit. Yeah, look, there's that shoal that came out, and then there's like a, a little channel that's right there. That's like prime time. Little cattle shoot. That would be a place you could come out and cast at night, right there. Mm -hmm. This one's getting hit, y'all. That fish may have killed it. I don't know. It got popped hard, though. Yep, he just got hit again. We're on some fish, my man. We on some fish. There's one fish, get him, get him, get him. Oh, he came off, he came off. Dang, dude, that was a big fish. No, he may still be on it. I don't know what happened there. Yeah, he's on it, dude. He's coming right to the boat. All right, I'm gonna slow us down. Oh, buddy. You can loosen that drag up a little if you need to. Oh, big fish. Big fish, bro. Big fish. Big fish. Big fish, bro. Okay. Uh-oh. This one's getting chased right up here, too. Uh-oh. We may get us a double here, y'all. All right, over top. Over top. Okay. Yeah, buddy. Yeah. Hooked up. We about had a double there, y'all. We may get another uh, one on. Love it. Great looking fish. Great looking fish, bro. Look at that. Oh, bud. All right, walk up, walk over the top. I turn that, I turn that off. Yep, you good. You can turn that clicker off too if you want. Where is the clicker? Left hand side. There we go. Hooked up, baby. Oh, that was awesome. Jeez, jeez. Great good. fish. All right, I'm gonna have to stop us for a second. Oh God, that's about to go in a tree oh, man. good fish brother good fish yeah, look at all the rot on him that's sad he's been he's been fighting all right i'm gonna have to come up here i'm just gonna turn it off for a second i think we gotta get the net of course i've got it not in a good place hey but at least we have a net Dude, that's a good fish. Uh-oh, that one's coming at us. I got it. Bring him in here. There's a 40-something inch fish. Where's this balloon at? Way up there? Okay. Yeah.
All right, guys, we got some mess going. Big mess. Luckily, I had the forethought to turn that motor off. We're going to leave this fish in the water right now. Man, I may turn us around and take us back up there. What do you think? Or just keep going? I, I'm, it's all good with me. Whatever you want to do. I, don't, I think they'll probably be all over this place. But... All right, let's just keep going, and then we'll come back up once we get down further. We'll get us a picture of this guy, and then... Sweet. I'm going to let you do that. I'm going to try to get us going again. Okay. I'm going to work this balloon jack back to the back. That's about a 30-pound fish, it looks like. Upper 20s. He's got the crap beaten out of him, though. Good fish, brother. So we had a hit up there and then a destroyer mode. Yeah, there's definitely another one over there. Look at her. All right, I'm gonna get us going down. The only thing you're missing, Mark, is the, the measuring tape on your hood here. I need to put that on there. I do have a measuring tape if you want to measure him. He looks about 42 inches. Uh, I've got a scale, yeah. And we've got those fish grips there, too. That stinger got her, y'all. It wasn't the main hook. She came up and hit that back end of the bait, and that got her. If you've got a boga handy. Yep. I got this. And then you can take those fish grips, clip it in the mouth, and it's got a, a weight thing on the... That's an upper 20 pound fish, maybe a 30. Long as heck though. If that was in the spring, dude, that would be a, a jumbo. Well, oh, that's already a jumbo. There you go. That would be a mid 40 pound fish in the spring. Five. Thanks, brother. There you go. Here we go, guys. 31 pound fish, first fish of the day. She's skinny, but she long, lean and mean. We'll, we'll let her go. I gotta make sure we don't tangle these boards up because that's about to happen. Oh. There's a board in the balloon bait. Let me see if I can get that out of there real quick while he's releasing that fish. That's How'd a, that thing fight? It's, it's good. Swam Shoot. right to the boat. We thought we lost it. Yeah, we thought we didn't have a fish on. And then uh, he was reeling it in and it just kept getting gradually more and more tension and there she was. Look at all the, that fish has been fighting. It looks like something's attacked that thing. Yeah, I think that's like a... A fungal? Yeah, something's not, not, not looking too good on it. It's on both sides too. To yep. be that skinny for that long. Wow, that was sick. That was dope, bro. All right, I'm gonna try to not bang us against the bank here. That's the one thing I like about cut baiting is you don't have to worry about boards and balloons. Yeah. You don't get to see that yeah. thing go flying. Look how long that fish is, guys. She is long, man. Oh, God. Something happened on that balloon. Something's going on here. Both of these are freaking out, and this balloon bait's going nuts. I think we're going to have to make the orange board, let it give him a little bit more line to swim, because yeah. he didn't get eaten. He's a little short. Especially where it's deeper here now. Yeah. Come on, baby. Yeah. There you go. Come on, get out of here. She gone. See you later, big girl. Yeah. Hell yeah, brother. Woo! Mm. Number one. All right, my turn. <laughs> You're up next. So that one fish ate on the board with the deepest bait or the most line out. So I'm letting more out on this one. Yeah. And uh, you have the little net. Oh, yeah, there it is. down there. Get Jackson being a butt. Yeah, 
Yeah. Throw another big old sucker in there. He got hit. Did you hear that? Mm -hmm. I don't know how big a fish it was, but it's a fish on him. This orange board over here just got popped, y'all. We're dealing with uh, the beginning of fall and leaves that just keep messing all our stuff up. So we're playing Minesweeper with that, trying to stay out of the sticks and whatnot. Some people would just not come fishing this, and I think that's crazy. This is primo. At least with the jacks, they can kind of wiggle their way out. Oh, that got hit. He put it down though. Oh, there it is. Gosh, got him. Oh, I got to stop him before he gets in this tree. That's a big fish. That is a big fish. Oh my God. Dude, this is a big one. He's pulling the whole boat around. You're going to have to help me with this strong motor. Dude, this is a large fish. Uh-oh, mine's getting hit. Are you getting hit too? Have we got a double? Or almost a double? Yeah. Uh-oh. This one's... Dude, this thing's that is a 100 yards back there. Yeah, he, that's what was swimming in my... Oh, God. Is that one getting hit? That one's getting hit. Damn. That one's getting hit. Oh, God. Yeah, you've got a fish on there. Yeah, real and set. Oh God, we got a double y'all. Holy crap. <laughs> we're going backwards. Yeah, we're getting towed back. <laughs> we have got a double. Oh my gosh. Well, we're about to get tangled. You're gonna have to horse yours in if you can. Yep. <laughs> I don't know what to do here. We're good, mine's, mine's in under your line at least. <laughs> no, he's not. <laughs> That one over there is getting hit. We're about to have a triple. Okay, you're under me. Come up. That one's getting hit. That one's got a fish on it. We've got a triple, y'all. Oh my God. Oh God. Dude, mine's a horse. Mine is a horse, guys. Holy crap. This is insane, y'all. I do not know what to do. Dude, goodness gracious. I think we got, something's going on with this. I'm just gonna put it right there. I've got my fish subdued. Uh, I'm gonna set the hook on this one. I don't have a choice. We're gonna have to put this down there. So I've got a striper sitting right there, y'all, and I think I've got another one on this balloon. No, he's right up underneath it. He hasn't eaten it yet, but he's on it. We got one right there. Oh no, there's a striper coming up after it right there. I can see him chasing the bait. Jeff, this is nuts. Oh, he just, he's come up and hitting it right there. He's come up and hitting it right there. Yep, oh, he just killed it. He just killed it. Dude, he's all up underneath my balloon bait, dude. What do you want me to do? Uh, yeah, we're just gonna let this one swim. And I'm just gonna hit anchor. Now I'm gonna try to put it, pull us out in the center because they're chasing that. I got this guy's deep hooked. He's what? He's kind of deep hooked. Um, Let's see if I can get this out. Okay. I'm gonna leave mine in the water for a second. Dude, we're about to get a triple. Holy crap. What a nuts day of fishing already. All right, we're gonna pull us out here in the center. I'm just gonna tell this thing to go upstream. And if we get eaten, we get eaten. If we don't, I don't care. This is all I can do right now. Now mine's getting mad and wanting to go back upstream or take more line out. Holy crap, dude. Shit, man. 
This is nuts. This is nuts. All right, I need a net. Can I give you the net? Uh, I think this guy may be terminally. Oh. All right, guys, we got one reviving down here in the tank. I got one on the rod right here, and then we got another one getting chased right there. Double hooks are saving the day. All right, we got this guy. This is a this is a toad. Holy shit. That's a toad, bro. That's a big girl. That's a big one. Holy yeah, crap. That's a big girl. All right. Do you think you can do that while I'm messing with this thing? Or actually, I'll do that if you want to catch fish. Let's see if this guy's got. Here, you're up next. <sighs> well, we just had the absolute craziest moment of chaos. Double trophy striper hookup, almost a triple. We've got one chasing a bait right here. Homeboys. God, I can't even talk, dude. We got this monster right here and then another one down the tank. Okay. Free the line. Here's about a mid-20. This is the first fish of the double. He's been reviving the bait tank. We're going to let him go. All right. I don't know which side's better to release him on. We got such a mess going on. Woo, daddy. I think a striper's on his butt back there, too. What a trip already, my man. Dude. Unreal. And we got a mid-30 chilling in the tank back there. He's gone. Woo, yeah! Alrighty, y'all. Mid-30. Woo! That thing fought like a monster. Okay. I'm gonna let this one go. Cool, cool water. It's probably upper 50 degree water where we're at. I've got a spot locked on uh, the trolling motor up ahead of us, and we're just letting this current provide these fish. Once that dorsal fin starts kicking up like that, doing good. He's probably ready to go about. Yeah, he's gone. Alrighty, buddy. Let's get another one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know why. Like, that balloon got hit six times. I watched the two fish come and just pulverize that bait. But it didn't get eaten. The boards were just, nope, gone. I think it may be how they swim too, because this one, it free swims and like he can get away. Sometimes that's better, but like apparently today they weren't going in a straight line. What's that? We're putting a Mondo on next. Show us that bait, how big that guy is. This is a two plus pound bait, you guys, and it's gonna get munched. It's going to get murked. Baits are back out. It's now getting windy as shit sunny but we're gonna keep fishing that guy's little, in the kill zone a little sun standing our way a little razzle dazzle get a little suntan burn our epidermis a little bit well that got destroyed but he let it go i don't think we have a bait anymore that rod went down yeah, I think we were baitless. This guy's got shit on him. We're gonna have to check them. Yeah, they're sitting in these holes right now with the low flow. Let's 
Yeah, there's no more bait left on this. We got mud. I'm gonna keep this guy out there. Surprised we didn't get a hooker. Well, we did for a second. Oh, the striper thumb. Yep. So they are sitting in the holes right now. Fuck. Damn. Eliminated. Well. How far is this? It's not deep for super long. So maybe we can drag down a little bit and then just turn back around and go right up over the top of it again. Yeah. How many baits do we have in there? I can't really see. Oh God. Pink balloon, you are failing us. Trying to force him over here to the bank. But he's not cooperating. He's showing the wrong side. He's showing his side though. He's standing out like a there he goes. He got on the other side. Dude, they murk it when they hit it. I'm gonna do like five casts here. I think that hole is just now starting here. Oh, he's on it. Oh, God. Come get this fish. Yeah. He's in something. He's in a tree down there. He's in a tree down there. Just let him go. We're going to have to go back and get it. Try to get on the other side of it. Dang it. We're in a tree, y'all. Is he still on it? Can you feel him? Yeah. Dang, that's yeah, a... Yeah. Oh, God! I'm telling you, they're just sitting in these holes. He's on that. Yeah. No, he came off. Shit. Came off. Oh, he's on it. He's Gosh, on it. that braid's all up in that. Oh, God. 
So we gotta figure out how to get this fish out of here, y'all. And I just about had another one on too. Jeez. Yeah, low flow like this. Gosh. We'll get it. I think it's just those branch is kind of stuck on. I hope he's just like up underneath it a little bit. Ugh. I hate that sound. Alright, let's slow us down a little bit. Let me get this out of your way. Man, I can't believe that other one didn't hook up. That was another good fish. We're gonna have to go get more bait. We're out of bait. Where the heck's he at? Can you see it down there? Dang it. I don't know what to do. Well, let me get that board off. That'll help. This is a cluster, y'all. Is he still on it? You can't tell now, can you? That sucks. That's a good fish down there. Something's sliding through. Yep. Gosh. Yeah, I think he, he nabbed it and then swam under the log. What the heck do we do? I think he's he's off it so Oh he's, he's coming. You gonna go swimming? Personally, not really, but yeah, he's definitely not on here anymore. come back and get them well that sucked <laughs> we have to load up on some more bait which is a good thing we got our heart broken three times in a row three, three times went through a whole take of bait now we're gonna do it again now we know what we're doing. but we are running out of trolling motor battery so we're gonna have to work with that. Bloop. Yeah, 
get him. He's got the hot hand, guys. The hot hand. Number seven. What we want to do, 10? Sure. Since we got good water in here. I ain't getting no love. No love. I ain't getting no love. Yeah, buddy. Je Jeff's got the hot hand. Trophy jacks. The hot hand. Trophy jacks is they gonna catch us a trophy. Ooh, he's perfect. You're perfect, Mr. Jack. We're gonna take you on a cruise. We got a little getaway planned for you. One nighter. The water's cold. It's pretty for us. Round two coming in. We ringing the dinner bell, baby. We got to run with some tight drag here because I ain't getting dragged into a tree again. Heartbroken. Forget that. That was a big fish. Nothing but gigantor baits. Our trolling motor batteries are going kind of dead. So this is absolutely our Alamo's last stand on these fish. He's like, wow, this water's cleaner than one hour I was at. I like this. I'm not running about that much on them. The ones we had on the last pass were like half dead too. These are like yeah. primo boys. Where's that one uh, green one? That you, green let me get that one. That's got the clip that's tighter on it. It didn't pop off as bad. I don't even know if I want to put out that balloon. Did we get like a semi-small one? I guess we ought to, because I don't have any of those other boards rigged that we're going to have to.
Oh, there you go. He's on that butt. <laughs> I swear I remember this stretch being good. Like where it's straight here. on that butt. They obviously don't care if we're very close to the boat, do they? Nope. He just got hit. Go get your dad and have him eat it. Oh, there it goes. That, the balloon one's going to shit now, too. Pop and drop. What's that flow died out? They're getting picky on the bites. What? When when the flow died, they're getting finicky now. Also went bluebird on us for a little bit. That low light level will be our saving grace once it hits. Yep. You see it? My balloon one getting oh yep. yep kaboom he's trying to eat him you're gonna have to reel your balloon in or your rod yeah that balloon one got hit twice Let's see if i can pull him so right here where the shit's in the water another little hole looks like i think that's that shelf that runs out right there I'm just gonna go take a pee and that's a surefire way to get one to eat. Yeah, man. Yeah, we're just gonna float around the circle. Oh, he's getting chased. Look at that. Look at that. He's trying to get out of Dodge. Dude, we should be cutting bait. I think people will just start hauling them out if we do. Let's let these two dummies get killed. That got hit. Oh, 
That was a good bloop. Try and eat them. You got one on here still? There's a big one right underneath him. Just Look at him. They're just, they're just fucking with him. I wonder if it's because he has shit on his back. He's got that leaf on his back. I wonder if they're just unsure of him right now. It's off now. Oh my god, look at that. Did you see that? Yeah. yeah. He just came up and tasted his nose. They're just sitting underneath this right now. Yeah. I'm about to just throw it and chop the head off. And yeah, and just out. drop it down. I agree. Look at him. Look at that. Just this one's gonna try to pull me this way. Maybe you wanna go that way? Uh I mean it doesn't matter. This is a crazy. Huh, <laughs> this is cool. It's like stalk, like a wolf stalking its prey. It's just playing with it too. It really is. They could easily eat it, no problem. Get one of those fresh ones. Well, y'all, as you just witnessed in this video right here that you're watching right now, we had a hell of a morning to begin the day, hooked up with three fish right off the bat, landed all of them, and then we hooked another three all at one time. One ran us into a tree, one pulled off, and I can't remember what happened to the third one, but there was just no bait left on the hook, so it got hit. Um, and then we went and loaded back up on bait again and then went fishing again but they dropped the current level and it made those fish really lethargic and as you saw they started um just light hitting the baits and they were smaller fish than they what they were in the morning so what happened there was our weather as you could tell we had overcast nasty muggy weather to begin the day and some current so that helped us on two fronts in the later portion of the day, the current dropped down, so the water levels dropped, which makes fish inactive. It can mess stuff up. And then it went bluebird on us. The sky went bluebird, so a high-pressure system came in, which can also wig things out. And that's why you saw those fish really lethargically just coming up and hitting those baits and nosing them and doing all that weird stuff. That happens when you've got a rapid rise in pressure and the current just dies. Uh, however, we caught three gigantic striped bass, uh, had a cluster you-know-what of a three-fur that we almost landed, and just had a blast of a good time. I realized in this video I didn't introduce Jeff. Jeff is a dentist with uh, a company in Nashville called Smile On, and uh, he's getting me some braces. And uh, we went fishing. He's a striper fisherman from here in Knoxville, or he was born here in this area on Watts Bar, fished his whole life for stripers. And uh, we've been friends on Facebook and social media, and we're just like, hey, let's go fishing. So that's what we did on this trip. We had a damn good time, caught some big old fish, 
and uh, got to share that with you guys. So stay tuned for the next adventure. I think I'm going catfishing this coming weekend with Lonus and some other buddies, and it's going to be a good old time here in East Tennessee. Fall's coming in. The colors are changing. We've got a little bit of a transition period right now with the fish, so they're kind of weird. But uh, we're getting into the best period of the year for fishing for big catfish, striper, all my favorite stuff, musky. So you really want to stay tuned. If you've not subscribed to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down in the uh, bottom something corner below us and uh, hit that bell notification uh, so you know when I post new videos. And we look forward to uh, catching some big ass fish and having a good time. Thanks for watching this video of Top Knox Fishing and I'll see you on the next one.